Welcome to the online platform Education Unlimited as we continue to look at the math topic algebra and today's subtopic is on algebraic fractions. So the first thing that we will do is to define an algebraic fraction which is a fraction whose denominator and or numerator are algebraic expressions. First question reads, simplifying algebraic fractions. The algebraic fractions here are three all over four X plus one plus two all over five X plus three. So the first thing that we will do is to find the LCM. So we find the LCM by multiplying the denominator here, looking at the cursor, by this denominator on this side to give us an LCM of open bracket 4x plus 1, close bracket, open bracket 5x plus 3, close bracket. This is the LCM, the first step in solving or in simplifying this algebraic fraction. Step two is to calculate algebraic fractions. And so we will divide 4x, let us use a cursor, 4x plus 1 divided into open bracket 4x plus 1, close bracket, open bracket 5x plus 3. So we divide 4x plus 1 into the LCM to get an answer of 5x plus 3. And then we divide 5x plus 3 into the LCM to get an answer of 4x plus 1. And then we use our markers. We multiply 3 by 5x plus 3. And then we multiply 2 by 4x plus 1. Moving on from the previous slide, our next step is to place the answer of the expansion. So the results are 15x plus 9 on this side and 8x plus 2 on this side. So moving into the other slide, we will group the like terms. the like terms gives us an answer of 15x plus 8x plus 9 plus 2 as the numerator which, which will result in 23x plus 11 in the next slide which is the solution let us look here we have it expressing as a single fraction or simplifying the algebraic fractions, it now reads 23x plus 11 all over 4x plus 1, 5x plus 3. So where has we had two fractions, now we only have one. So it is it has been clearly simplified. Our next problem. In our first problem, we did an addition of algebraic fractions. In this one, we will do a subtraction of algebraic fractions. So as we pull our marker, the first thing that we will do is to find the LCM. The LCM being five multiplied by three, giving us an answer of 15, but doing the test, 15 is also the lowest number that both five and three can go into without a remainder. So the next step is to divide. So we divide, pull in the cursor, five into 15, give us an answer of three, and three into 15, give us an answer of five. We bring down the minus sign here, right in the middle, and then we multiply. So let us 
use our marker again. So we multiply 3 by 2x, give us an answer of 6x, and 3 by 3 to give us an answer of plus 9. And then let us use another column. We multiply minus 5 by x to give us an answer of minus 5x, and minus 5 by plus 2 to give us an answer of minus 10. So as we go along, moving from this point, we will now group the like terms. So our next step, let us use another color. Let us use blue. So we will say, let's use purple. We will say 6x minus 5x gives an answer of x, and 9 minus 10 give us an answer of minus 1. So the answer here would be x minus 1 all over 15. x minus 1 all over 15. That's the solution here. We simplified base algebraic fractions. So, as we now look at the final question in this presentation, please note that the first question was an addition of algebraic fractions. The second question was a subtraction of algebraic fractions. Now, in this third question, it is a subtraction of algebraic fractions. However, it is also an equation because it is equated to two. So at the end of this problem, we should have an answer for x, we should solve for x. The first thing that we will do is to find the LCM. So the LCM, two multiplied by three, gives us an answer of six. But during the test, six is the lowest number that both two and three can go into without a remainder. So the next step that we will do is to divide. So let us divide. So we say two into six give us an answer of three, and three into six give us an answer of two. We bring down the minus sign here right in the middle, and then we multiply. So let us pull the cursor the marker rather as we multiply three times x gives us three x and three times two gives us plus six and then the other side minus two times x gives us minus two x and minus two times negative one gives us positive two and so Pulling the cursor, the question will now read 3x plus 6 minus 2x plus 2 all over 6. 2 over 1 we place here because 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2, and we place it there because our next step we will want to cross multiply. So we pull another color and we multiply this numerator by this denominator here and 6 by 2 here to give us the answer in the next slide. Let us do some house cleaning before we go along, and then we look at the other slide quickly. Results of the cross multiplication, pulling the cursor on this side, 12, and on this side, 3x plus 6 minus 2x plus 2. The next step is to group the like terms. So we group 3x beside minus 2x to give us an answer of x, and plus 6 plus 2 to give us an answer of 8. We pull the marker to show that when we move the 8 over the equal sign, the sign changes to a minus 8. So x would be equal to 12 minus 8. The answer x is equal to Look out for our next video on subject of the formula. Look out also for our videos on CXC past paper questions in math on subject of the formula and on algebraic fractions.
Thank you very much.